Y'all do know it's 8 p.m., right? Oh, you guys actually bought three topics today instead of four and shoved it into the last fishbowl. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all bring me today. Today, you will take an inside look into Angelica Pickles, one of Nickelodeon's most iconic characters. You will talk about her growth, her relationship with her mom, and her friendship with Susie. Look, I love any excuse just to tell people why they should give all grown up a chance. So let's go. If you're wearing a crop top, you look sexy as fuck. I am a sexy man. Miss Sharpay Evans before the Ashley Tisdale, Miss Angelica Pickles. Like I said, I really don't know how Drew was able to live in this household because Angelica and her mother, when they did interact all the time, they would literally just be yelling at each other. And like, Drew, are you not irritated by this Drew, please? Hey y'all, it's Hariana and I'm back with another video. Welcome to, or welcome back to, the pirate ship, Harry Hook's pirate ship. I am the captain. You are not my first mate. If you think you're my first mate, if you think you keep trying to tell me what to do, you can go off the plank over there. I have no first mate. No one is worthy of being the first mate. Hello, my name is Hariana. This is your first time seeing me. Hey, I'm a hot mess, so get used to it. And I like to make content based off nostalgia and family and children entertainment and all the issues that I find within those spaces, okay? So today's video is going to be one where I just actually sat and thought for a little bit, okay? Okay, so like I said, I am the captain, you and my, my first mate. This is Harry Hook's pirate ship, but I am the one who runs it, okay? Harriana runs the ship, okay? Because Harry, I love Harry, but he is not the brightest, okay? Let's go ahead and get into today's video but before we can get into the subject matter i do have a few little announcements one harryonhook.com my store is live and open i have my summer collection coming june 1st and you will be able to purchase this right here this is my lip gloss called angelica for my regrets collection yes i have a regrets collection coming soon it is this very very pretty pink color it looks like strawberry milk this is what it looks like on. You probably can't see it because of the way that the ring light is set up. But I really, really love this color. It is super duper pretty. Super, super just pink and glitter and shimmery. Just super duper girly. So you will be able to purchase this on June 1st. So please mark your calendars, okay? Please mark your calendars. Next, I have Patreon. Please go support me on Patreon if you can. I have a lot of benefits that I offer over there. And also exclusive videos that will not see the light of day over here. I recently uploaded a video about the proud family i know a lot of you guys want me to talk about proud family and i talk about proud family on patreon so please go to patreon and support if you can last but not least i have a web series called the progenies please go support down below okay now let's go ahead and talk about miss sharpay evans before the ashley tisdale miss angelica pickles okay by the way just a quick disclaimer we are really just going to be talking about angelica pickles character development in all grown up instead of like rugrats because i didn't really particularly like her character in Rugrats all that much and the thing about it is that she was three in that show and she was 13 in Rugrats and I feel like there isn't just really much you can say about a three-year-old she was just annoying and bratty that's literally what her character was which isn't a necessarily bad thing given that she was three but there was more to her character when she was 13 and that's what I really want to sit here and talk about and also I'm just not gonna sit here and drag a little three-year-old for like 20 minutes or so that's just really kind of not it but let's go ahead and get into it as people may not know i have a special place in my heart for all grown up i love all grown up i think it's an amazing show i think it's pretty pretty underrated i have a whole video about where i just talked about my love for all grown up and 
I understand not everybody likes and things like that, but I'm that type of person that likes it a lot more than Rugrats. I have grown to like Rugrats for other reasons. Like I used to have like a burning hatred for Rugrats, but now I do like it. I like the adults in the show. I don't really care about anything with them freaking babies, probably because I have no desire to have children. I don't know. It's weird. But like I said, we will be discussing Angelica's character and all growing up and why I just find her very particularly interesting, okay? Because they took her personality that she had while she was a baby and they worked really, really well with that, in my opinion. It's actually one of the stronger points of this series, what they did with Angelica's character. The main problem that I really had with all grown up is that they did more with certain characters than they did with others. But when they did work with those characters it worked really really well okay and Angelica was one of them as we know her mother is Charlotte Pickles who was married to Drew Pickles who is you know you know you know that relationship is very strange okay I really don't understand how they got married and I don't understand how they together for so long because they were just so opposite and Charlotte was just a bit of a pushover and Charlotte was just not a nice woman in my opinion I did not like Charlotte Pickles like I loved her chemistry like not chemistry I love her confidence and I did aspire to be a lot more like her at a certain point in my life but now that I think about it I just kind of see her as like a mean older woman it, okay like didn't she get botox or something and all grown up i don't know her face looked a freaking mess it just was not oh, it okay like i said it's obvious that in this show that like angelica just turned into a mini version of charlotte and charlotte did not know what to do with it she did not know what to do with her daughter because she turned into her she was just a mini version of her and it was very disturbing watching them interact with each other and go back and forth with each other because it's so obvious that this mother literally was like my daughter is a monster I can't stand her she acts a little bit too much like me at this point and I don't know what to do with her like I said I really don't know how Drew was able to live in this household because Angelica and her mother when they did interact all the time they would literally just be yelling at each other and like Drew are you not irritated by this Drew please Are you okay? Are you okay, Drew? I feel like Drew just kind of ignored a lot of what went on with Angelica and Charlotte because he honestly did. He kind of just stayed out of it. When they started going at it, he just kind of stayed away. But like I said, Angelica, but that's just kind of like the way her mother raised her. She raised her as just this spoiled brat that always got what she wanted and she could talk to people any kind of way. Angelica being a brat is really what made her character in Rugrats. She was just an annoying little child. But here she is more to that. Like, she's still a spoiled brat, y'all. Come on, Angelica, that, that's just who she is. That's just who she embodies. But she's actually a really sad girl she's actually a very very sad girl and i do feel bad for her so much when i watch all grown up because it's just so obvious that she's really just insecure and she just wants to be accepted and she just wants to fit in but she just kind of doesn't know what to do with her emotions because she just always kind of believed that she has to be like better than everybody and angelica is kind of weird because she believes that she is above people but deep down she really kind of just isn't it she's just not it who knows what how angelica would have been if she didn't have susie by her side like i mentioned i hate the token black kid trope everyone that knows me knows that i can't stand the token black kid trope i think it's annoying i think people need to do a lot better with it okay i'm tired of the token black girl or just the token black kid in general but i really see this happen a lot more with the token black girl the mammy type I call it a mammy type, where they're basically just kind of in the story to help their non-black friends and their white friends mainly, but it also happens a lot more with their non-black friends. And 
I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. But Angelica and Susie's friendship is actually one of the highlights of All Grown Up. As much as I can't stand that mommy, mammy trope. It's literally one of the highlights of the show. I really cannot freaking stand it. That's why I kind of have like such a weird relationship with it. Because Angelica and Susie's friendship is one of the strongest points of the show. Because the show really projects how your household upbringing can affect you because the way Susie was raised and the way Angelica was raised really impacted their dynamic as I mentioned numerous times already in this video Angelica is a spoiled brat Susie is a girl that just kind of like you know goes with the flow gets along with everybody because you know Angelica was the only child. Susie has multiple brothers and siblings. Susie was black, basically. She grew up in a black household. She was raised completely differently, okay? Okay. Like I said, them being raised in two different households is what made Susie so helpful to Angelica. She just wanted Angelica to be a better person. Susie didn't want anything bad to happen to the girl. Yes, she did get mad at her from time to time. Yes, she did yell at her and did this and that and the third for her. Sometimes she even gave up on her a little bit. But Susie just genuinely wanted better for her friend because... Susie was Angelica's only friend. I'm gonna be real. That's really her only friend. I know they had the little boy that followed them around all the time, but Angelica really just did not like him for the most part. And that's all. Susie just wanted better for her. She did like her, and I can tell that their friendship was genuine, but she was not gonna sit here and let Angelica push her around. That is one thing that Susie was not gonna let you do. Susie was not gonna let you treat her like a fool, okay? She Susie was not gonna have you out here making her look like boo-boo the fool, and that is one thing that I just appreciate her character so much. She was not here for nobody's shit, and I appreciate it, okay? Like, I could not stand Savannah. I could not stand Savannah. Savannah it is so obvious that they put savannah into the story for angelica because it's like she just needed somebody in the story that acted a lot like her and she got to see how she looked her own age like You know, Charlotte is basically adult Angelica. Savannah is just basically Angelica 2.0 without good friends. She literally was just there to show Angelica, this is what you look like to other people when you need to do better, okay? I can't stand Savannah. That little bitch is freaking irritated, okay? It, I just love... I can't stand her, but I just love her presence in the show. She had great fashion sense, too. I gotta give it to her. The mean girls always got great fashion sense in these shows, okay? But it's just so freaking funny to watch Angelica go back and forth with her because it's so obvious that it shows that Angelica can't stand herself because that girl acts just like her and it's really freaking hilarious, okay? Savannah makes Angelica look like a saint. She makes her look like a saint. And the reason why she makes her look like a saint is because and Savannah did not have a Susie. She didn't have a Susie. And that's why Susie was just so amazing, okay? She brought out the good in like one of the most irritating characters of all time. As I mentioned that Angelica really didn't have any true friends except for Susie, as we know. Chucky didn't like her in the show. Phil did not care about her. Dill and Tommy were like her friends by default. They were her cousins and they didn't really care for her all that much. Like they did care for her because she was family and whatever. Angelica was not nice to them. They could not freaking stand her. And Lil was just kind of just chilling. Lil got along with everybody, along with Kimmy. Like, yeah, Angelica was kind of irritating to them, but they just kind of, they tolerated her. They didn't really have a problem with her. And Lil was just chilling. Lil got along with everybody. That's probably the reason why I love Lil Devel so much. She just got along well with everybody. And the person that truly got her, the only person I truly felt like that was just there for Angelica through matter what, thick and thin, was Susie freaking Carmichael. 
seriously y'all i know a lot of people give all grown up crap and i know a lot of people just don't like it and don't want to give it a chance but i love this show so much and it does have a lot of greatness to it okay i understand why people don't like this show and that it's not for everybody because this show doesn't really help a lot of these characters like i'll give y'all an example tommy this show doesn't do him justice whatsoever if you're a tommy stan all grown up ain't for you it's not this show's not for everyone, okay? But if you would like to see Angelica in a better light, All Grown Up has some very, very great stuff in it. And I highly recommend that you guys do give it a chance. It's better for certain characters than others. As I mentioned, it doesn't really do much for Tommy. It does do a lot for Chucky, but then Chucky is a character that, that I just never liked in the beginning, so I never really watched the show for him. But it's great for Susie. It's great for Angelica. It's great for the twins. Like, the twins are feeling a little, by the way. You didn't know that. Um, Dill. If you like Dill, you'll love Dill. He Dill didn't really do much in Rugrats, but you will love Dill in um, All Grown Up. He's so great. He honestly just steals the show whenever he's on a camera. And even Kimmy. I can't stand Kimmy, but her storylines were very interesting, even though her character really, really freaking frustrates me. That's another topic for another discussion, okay? But she has some great stuff in here. But the show is just very beneficial for some characters more than others. And Angelica is one of the characters that it really helped a lot. If it weren't for All Grown Up, I would not like Angelica's character at all. Because Rugrats, that little kid, irritated. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is getting late. I got to get ready for work in the morning. Yeah, I need to lower my voice because people are probably sleeping in this house right now. They're probably not. I think my dad's probably watching TV and my sister's probably playing on her Switch. Who knows what my family's doing? I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below because I know a lot of you guys, I see my analytics. All of you guys that watch me, don't be subscribed. Don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button. Get me to 70K. Don't forget to follow me on everything at Harriana. Don't forget to follow my store, Harriana Hook, on Instagram. Don't forget to shop with me at harianahook.com. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of me, go ahead and support me on Patreon. Cheapest tier is a dollar. It only costs a dollar to support your favorite pirate. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yes, have a good night. Cherishing power puff, two of a kind. Both wanna save the world before bad times. From towns from Memphis, New York to LA. The power puff girls are just here to stay.